All right, here we are. Open Morrowind. You're looking to install some mods for it, and you've come to me for help. Well, I am going to show you how to do just that without taking 20 minutes. First off, you need to have, of course, Morrowind, the regular game, installed on your computer, along with Blood Moon and Tribunal. They should all sit like this, and your uh, main Morrowind should be unmodded and left completely alone. If you're installing Morrowind as you're watching this tutorial, I recommend you do the base game, then you do Tribunal, and then install Blood Moon. That order actually does matter. Once they're all installed and in whatever folder you deem worthy and it's working, that's done. Then you need to have Open Morrowind. And Open Morrowind can be found on their website. Straight up Google Open Morrowind. Downloads. And you, depending on what operating system, you choose the one that is yours. But today, I'm. This is for Windows 64 bit. So, come down here, GitHub Open Morrowind download page. Scroll, you know, read what you'd like. Scroll all the way down and grab the Open Morrowind six, win64.exe. Make sure that you grab that. Download that, install it, put it where you deem worthy. This is where mine is. And you will be presented with this folder once it's fully installed. You will not have a data files though. That is something that we are going to create. This is where mods are going to sit. We're going to get back to that though. First off, you're going to want to run the launcher. The launcher is going to direct you to the wizard. The wizard here is what is going to connect Open Morrowind to your original Morrowind. So, select an existing folder, and you may be presented with a regular Morrowind um, directory like path there. You don't want that. You want br to browse just to make sure, and you want to navigate to your Morrowind install. From there, data files and specifically morrowind.esm click double click or that you will see this and that is what you want to highlight and pick next yes yes everything is good I'm going to hit cancel because um, I'm not gonna hit it again but you do want both of those checked so after that is done and Morrowind is now connected uh, you should actually be able to play the game in its vanilla state but you don't want to stop there you want to install some mods right yeah so what we're going to do is click right here or anywhere and new folder and you're going to want to call it data files with a capital D and an F and a space no, I don't want to rename <laughs> it. So once your data file is open, it'll be empty, of course. You want to create uh, whatever folders you want. Specifically, I'm going to be showing you how to install Tamriel Rebuilt and Morrowind Rebirth, which are two mods that I'm currently using right now. So first, you want to straight up add a new, add a new folder and call it Rebirth, just how I have it or however way you want it and do the same thing for Tamriel Rebuilt. From there you will need to install Rebirth into the, the Rebirth folder that you just um, created. From there you're going to want to go to the Rebirth Nexus page. I'm pretty sure it's located in other parts of the internet but it's, uh, it's here on the home of the Nexus. Just, uh, you know, <laughs> maybe browse some of what it has to offer and go and download it. Once it's downloaded and you have opened up the um, the file you'll be presented with this Morrowind Rebirth. Now you don't want to just drag that into Rebirth. You also don't want to drag this stuff into Rebirth. What you specifically want is the contents of the data files you want this stuff in there. As you can see, it's pretty much identical. Drag all of that, put it into there, 
and you're done. Literally. At that point, you can browse some optional files and add in whatever you want into your thing, but I uh, personally did not do any of that. So, Rebirth is now installed and done. What Moro Open Morrowind, though, will not be able to find the file with just doing that. We're going to have to edit a config, but we're going to do that right after we create Tamriel Rebuilt and create a new folder, call it Tamriel Rebuilt, and it will be presented with this. It'll be empty, of course, when, you're, when you see it. You will need to navigate to the Tamriel Rebuilt um, Nexus page or their website. You can download it from there as well. From here, you're going to want two files. Tamriel Rebuilt, which is located right here in the da data files. Or I guess uh, not data files, but uh, Tamriel Rebuilt is located right there. And click download manually. You have that, but then you need one more file. Tamriel data. We're going to go here. This is all the data stuff. This is, uh, you know, the items and the objects and all that stuff. You do need these two. Files, download, I recommend the HD version. Once you have downloaded both of the, these two files, um you will be presented with these two. The uh, Tamriel Data HD and the regular Tamriel Rebuilt. Now, the order that you install these actually does matter. First, you want to do Tamriel Data HD. And again, you only want the contents of data files. This is the contents here. Just drag everything, put it into here. Then, that's done basically just click X on it. For Tamriel Rebuilt, which was the other download, you hear there is no data files that you actually need to drag over. Everything is laid out here. So you want to just drag this entire thing and put it into here. Overwrite anything if it does ask you. And from there, there all the content of both mods are now fully installed. But Open Morrowind does not actually know how to find them immediately. When it, if you just launch up the launcher, you will not see any of these other ESMs or ESPs. You will only have Tribunal and Blood Moon. To have them show up, we're going to have to navigate to our documents. From documents to my games. From my games to Open Morrowind. And now that we are here, open morrowind.cfg.config click this and you may be presented with this nasty notepad file that is intimidating you right now if that is what you're looking at I recommend you go to Google and download notepad plus plus straight up Google notepad plus plus download it and install it then right click open morrowind and edit with notepad plus plus this is a much more uh, quality version of Notepad and um, is much more organized. As you can see, everything is, you know, labeled and stuff. What you will want to do is once it is open, you'll be looking at this. These are fallback archives. They will be required for Tamriel Rebuilt, but we'll do that after. To actually have Open Morrowind read the two folders that we have just created, the two mods that we have just installed, you will need to scroll all the way down and you will see Tamriel Data Morrowind, Tamriel Data Morrowind data files. These two will be here and they'll be sitting right on top of Content Morrowind ESM. In between that, you want to add this line here specifically data equals which is the beginning of the script I guess then quotation and your file path this really matters so data equals and then the quotation then your file path and end it with a quotation just as how I have had it here now if you're looking for an easy way to get your file path you can do this and this is for people that are not uh, so computer inclined. 
you can go back to your Open Morrowind directory here, right? This is where Open Morrowind is installed. Go to your data files that you created and go to, say, Rebirth. Double click it. Now that you're here, this little URL at the top here, just click, say, right here. And now that has crunched in and has all become highlighted. D slash Open Morrowind. 0.41.0 slash data file slash rebirth. This is your file path. You can right click, copy, and then say none of this was here. Ooh, I should probably do that one. Say none of this was even here. And you're doing just data equals. You put in quotations, shift the quotations and have it like that, then hold control and hit V, or right click and paste. And you will have your full file path the exact way that it should be typed out. Then end it with quotations again. Once you've done that, that is successfully uh, written into the Open Morrowind config and Open Morrowind will be able to read that and Rebirth will show up in the launcher. You want to do the exact same thing with Tamriel Rebuilt, right? Uh, say none of this was here. And data files, Tamriel Rebuilt, click this and you have your file path. Copy, bring it here. Quotations, and this time Control V and it'll pop up just like that and round it off with quotations. Once you've done that, those are both successfully installed. But Tamriel Rebuilt is a mod that adds new lands to the world of Morrowind. It adds the mainland specifically. And because it has new lands, it needs a fallback archive. Otherwise, you may see, you not may, you will see errors when traveling the mainland of Morrowind. So to prevent that and to create a fallback archive, from here you want to scroll all the way up to the very top, and as you'll notice, there's tons of fallback here. All of these are fallback, um, whatever. Specifically, these are the fallback archives. Here's one for Morrowind, Tribunal, Blood Moon, and specifically here, ptdata.bsa and trdata.bsa. These are the two that you want to have Tamriel rebuilt, not show any errors. That's to successfully install it properly. And these two, these two fallback archives, I'll put the entire thing, because for me personally, I never had fallback archives for Morrowind Tribunal or Blood Moon. I recommend having the entire thing here. When you are presented with this, you will not see the, the thing. It, you will just see no sound equals. I recommend putting the cursor right to the end of that, hitting enter, go down to the description of my YouTube video, and there I will have copy pasted the fallback archives. Highlight all of that, and control C or copy, come here and paste it. And it will look just like this. Morrowind, Tribunal, Blood Moon, PT Data, and TR Data. And from there, you want to click Save. Then your config file is edited successfully, and now it works. To test that it works, to make sure that it does, you will need to go back to uh, your Open Morrowind directory here. From there, hit the launcher. You'll pr be presented with this. Data files. And you may, if you did everything correctly, see everything here. Now, the lo this load order, this list is, I guess, a load order. And the order in which these mods sit is very important. Now, what you want to have is all ESMs at the top and uh, ESPs at the bottom. Never have an ESM below an ESP. As you can see, I have my ESPs down here, ESMs start right here. Now, those are just not organized properly. In a way, we could have them just like that. And that is done properly. So, the way you want to have your load order set up is Tribunal, Blood Moon, Tamriel Data, 
TR Mainland, TR Travels, which I'm not sure that I, have, I, I might be disabling that, but Morrowind Rebirth, and then Morrowind Rebirth, Balamora Underworld. And all of those should work together. You could even turn off TR Travels, because that's for uh, the preview specifically. Once that is all good and done, you'll be good to play. After all those are activated, the config editing is what made the launcher even find these mods. Activate them, hit play. You're pretty much done. This is where this tutorial comes to the end. You'll be able to play Open Morrowind with the mods that you installed. Welcome, kiddo. Don't die, or this land is very vicious. But I thank you for listening, and I uh, congratulate you on installing your Open Morrowind with mods and having it all work successfully. Anyways, I am going to take off now and bid you farewell.